In today's video, I'm gonna show you my chocolate peanut butter toasty wrap recipe that I call the Snickers Butter Cup Wrap. Well, without further ado, let's get into it. Hi, I'm Alexa Clam, dietitian, sports dietitian, and nutrition coach. Welcome again to one of my recipe videos. Thank you again for clicking and watching. But before we get into today's recipe, remember to subscribe and ring that bell so you can stay in the loop with every single one that I release. So today's recipe is going to be very different, okay? That's just me being open with you from the start because the fact is today's recipe is not macro friendly. It's not even high protein but I can assure you it's delicious, okay? It's gonna be a dessert recipe for you when you just feel like you want something more indulgent or when you have the calories to do so. Or perhaps if you're just having a pizza night with friends and you want something afterwards that resembles those kind of you know hot desserts that the takeaway places serve, except much bigger, much cheaper, and just the same in terms of taste. So I'm sure it's gonna be a hit with you, so I wanna introduce you to this recipe. So without further ado, let's get into the kitchen and whip this up. Okay, so as you can see, the recipes are very simple. We've got some chocolate spread, so you already can see this is not macro friendly. Okay, we've got some normal peanut butter. We've got some wraps. Okay, I'm using the big wraps today, but you can use the smaller wraps as well. They go well if you want like a small version of the dessert. And I've got some granulated nuts. Okay, just basically crushed up, diced up, broken up nuts. Okay, so I'm gonna whip this up now, show you exactly how to make it. But as you can see, this is gonna be saying that it tastes great, but is not necessarily gonna be low calorie. Because remember, it's not always about low calorie. It's not always about just finding the lowest calorie thing, unless obviously you're on a very strict deficit plan for a specific goal in your sport or competition or whatever it is, and you've gotta be very careful. But then this wouldn't even be a part of your repertoire during that period of time, okay? And plus, if you're trying to gain muscle and you're in the surplus, this works well as a dessert, okay? So let's go. Okay, so making this is very simple. First, what we do is we grab a knife, go to the middle of the wrap, and you just slice it to the edge, okay? So that you have one of these. You've probably seen this on TikTok and all that sort of stuff. The wrap trend, so this kind of goes along with that, okay? It was forged from the fires of the wrap trend. So that's what you do first, okay? So now what we've got to do is layer the chocolate spread and the peanut butter on each side. I'm going to give you the amounts that I use, but remember, with the recipe like this, you can adjust it as much as you want. You can go half the amount of a, of a specific ingredient. You can go double. You can go triple. It doesn't really matter. The purpose is that you're still just using the same process and the same mix of ingredients. So first thing we'll do is we'll put the, the peanut butter on. Okay. So I usually go about 25 grams of just some normal peanut butter. Uh, but obviously you can use any, any peanut butter you want. Crunchy, smooth, high sugar, low sugar. doesn't really matter. Okay. So we zero it out here. 24, we're gonna go with that. I'm not gonna bother with the one gram, okay? <laughs> it is, like I said, for demonstration purposes anyway. Okay, so we just spread it there. Make sure you get all that peanut butter out because you don't wanna be missing out on flavor and nutrients. There we go. That's half done. Then whatever's left, you can just lick the spoon. Okay. Now what we do is use a chocolate spread. Now this is just the one from Aldi, Bramwell's or whatever. You can use Nutella, obviously, the classic. Okay, you can use any type of chocolate spread that you desire, any at all. Now with this one, we go about 30 grams. I find there's a sweet spot between the balance. 27, okay. We'll grab a little bit more. 32. 29, there we go. We're missing out one gram for each of these today, okay? We're as close to perfect as can be without being perfect. <laughs> okay, so just spread this on the other side. Okay. To the best of your abilities. There we go. Same thing, whatever's left, lick the spoon. Okay. Now what we do is we're gonna spread the granulated nuts and one half, sorry about the flies, by the way. If you live in Australia, you know what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread a little bit of this, so about five grams of the granulated nuts. Let's zero that out. There we go, four grams, look at that. Again, off by one gram. And we spread it on the side of the chocolate. That's the way I roll. 
Okay, you can do it however you want, but that's the way I roll. Um, so, and that's basically it. Okay, that's that's all you really need. Now, there are other ingredients you can add to, you know, jazz it up or make a different, slight different flavor. Um, for example, banana works really well. So you can slice up a banana and layer it on one side as well. That works quite nicely. I'm not doing that for today. today. I'm just going with my classic Snickers buttercup wrap recipe. And what we do now is, as you might have seen with the wrap trend, if you haven't, well, introducing you to it. There we go, so you can see it better. What we do is grab one side, flip it there, flip it there, flip it there, done, okay? Now we're gonna toast this up, okay, in like a panini press, sandwich press, whatever you wanna call it, we call sandwich presses here in Australia. Um, so what we're gonna do is put this in some baking paper. Luckily, had some pre-cut. <laughs> you don't have to wait around. We'll put it in like that. And now we're gonna toast that up for about 30 to 60 seconds or just depending on the power of your sandwich press. Just kind of always look at it. Don't make it go too burnt. Just go enough that it's like melted and heated up. That's all you need, okay? So let's toast it up and then do a taste test for you. A few moments later. Okay, so while that's toasting up, just wanted to give you some pointers. So if you wanna make this lower calorie, there are really only three ways to do it. Number one, you lower the amount of ingredients in terms of the amounts of the ingredients, sorry. Number two is you choose a smaller wrap. So this is one I get from Aldi, it's about 200 gram, 200 grams, 200 calories for a big one. Or you can get like a 120, 130 calories smaller one. Okay, that's another way. And the third way is you can swap out the peanut butter, the normal peanut butter, for some PB2 or some PB Fit or some Macro Mike's uh, peanut butter powder. Just those low calorie peanut butter options. You can do that as well and substitute that. It'll kind of bunch the calories away as well. Like I said, I'm going with a high calorie version just for the sake of this recipe because it's not really intended as a low calorie, macro friendly, high protein dessert option like you would have seen for my brownie recipe or those kind of recipes that I made before. So yeah, hope that clarifies that, but there are ways you make a lower calorie to make it suit your needs or if you just wish to have a lower calorie option. Hope that helps. Okay, so as you can see, it's now ready, nicely toasted up, nice and hot and nice and ready to eat. Okay, so we're gonna do now, do a taste test give you a breakdown in calories and macros, and go from there. Okay, so we're here, ready to eat this. Okay, I'm so keen, so keen to eat this. And then I'm gonna break up the macros and the calories for you, tell you exactly what you're in for. But without further ado, let's give it all a taste test. Mm -hmm. Honestly, can't get enough of these. I honestly have to be careful when I'm eating these because I want more and more. Tastes so good, tastes so good. Because as we know, there's not unlimited calories, we have to watch it. So as long as you're tracking, remember, flexible dieting is so good. Because as long as you're eating an overall balanced diet and following an 80-20 principle, as long as you're fitting in your favorite foods, as long as you're consistent, as long as you're accurate, as long as you're aware and clear, and clear with your goals, and you're focusing on nutrition program for your specific outcomes, you know, in your sport, you can do well and still eat things that are people are gonna tell you are not good, okay? And that's the purpose of me breaking those myths and telling the truth. Mm. That tastes so good. Okay, like I said, Add extra peanut butter, add extra chocolate spread, add less of each, adjust it to your taste, add some banana in there, see if you enjoy that, okay? I've added a granola and nuts for some extra texture and extra Snickers style flavor. Do what you will, okay? There's different ways to kind of experiment with this and different ways to make it fit your budget, okay, your caloric budget. So now without further ado, let's actually see what this creation was in terms of calories and macros. Just keep in mind that the actual amounts that I used were specific to my case. Yours will be different, but just to give you an idea roughly how much. Okay, so with this version of the recipe, we're looking at about 560 calories. Okay, so for a dessert, not the greatest, but not the worst. Like I said, you just gotta make it fit. It's not supposed to be a low calorie option. About 15 grams of protein, so it's, for a dessert, it's not too bad actually, funny enough. About 31 grams of fat, that's on the higher side obviously, and carbs about 52. As you can see, it's not traditional macro friendly, but it is traditional 
taste sensation, okay? As, as cheesy as that sounds, but you know what I mean. I'm just trying to say that this tastes freaking good, okay? So, now it's your turn, okay? Now it's your turn to create this. Post it up on, on Instagram and Facebook. Tag me, Climb a Dietitian. I wanna see your creations. Most importantly, I wanna know, do you enjoy this? So comment below and let me know, did you enjoy today's recipe? Is this down your alley, okay? Again, as always, if you did enjoy this recipe, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and until I see you next time, stay classy, have a good one, bye.